All right, what's up, guys? Got me a locker today. Uh, I was going to wait till um, Saturday when we have our local auctions, but I ended up driving two hours to come get this unit. I paid $360 for it, and I can tell you right now why I paid that much and why I got this unit. As you guys are seeing, it's some kind of commercial-type unit. Um, it's a dental office, a pri private practice dentist, and the reason I bought this unit is because I saw this right here I knew immediately this was a dentist um, and this would be this would make my third dentist office unit and I can tell you right now not because of that because I've actually never sold those arms because of everything else that I know it's in here I will probably make two grand within one week on eBay because all these tools that are in these cabinets that they use that they put in your mouth are extremely expensive and depending on how old they are uh, depends on uh, how much money you will get for them but they all have value and uh, if there's any dentures in here if you guys go on eBay and you look at the previously sold dentures you will probably see a lot from me that I sold at my last uh, dentist office which was about three weeks ago um, total I've made I haven't even got sold half the stuff for, in it but total I have made about $2,500 off the dental stuff that I've sold in the last three weeks on eBay. So I knew as soon as I saw this, this is mine. I'm getting it. I had it at $60 all the way up until today. And then I ended up paying $350 for it. So I paid $350 for this. Um, pretty confident that we're going to find the tools that I'm looking for uh, and make some good money. Now, I saw the lady her name okay it was a doctor saw her name I looked her up uh, she is in big trouble they they caught she caught a case back in 2014 so I know most of this stuff is from 2014 uh, she got multiple felony charges what she was doing was she was charging people on their Medicaid the free insurance for operations that she did not do and it totaled to hundreds of thousands of dollars guys hundreds of thousands of dollars she stole and she ended up getting a bunch of felonies I'm sure she went to jail so my question is is there anything in here that she's hiding um, which could be a lot of money it could who knows what it could be or who was it that put all this stuff in here was it her did she have a chance to take everything out of her office and put it in storage or did somebody else do it because that'll tell us if there's going to be any extra good stuff in here now keep in mind i've i have one hand guys so i'm going to try to do my best to go through this stuff uh, but let's just go ahead and get into it this right here this i already know what this is because i've sold one of them these are the, these you get about 150 dollars for these this is a portable dark room where you uh pro process uh x-rays and look at x-rays all right let's get into this looks like we've got some floor stripper floor stripper materials I can sell those at the flea market now here's the thing a lot of people are turned off by this unit because they aren't um, this isn't really a flea market type of thing nor is it an auction your normal auction house stuff this is to a very specific niche which happens to be the uh, the dental practice and the thing is, is that this stuff sells very well, very well online, guys, because it's something that people need. They have to have it, okay? And so they're needing it on a constant basis. And it's, you know, when it's for somebody's work and it's a tool, they have to have it in order to complete their work. So they have to, they have to buy it. Um, and that just, that'll make stuff sell way better than... Uh, most items now looking at everything right now um, we can look this up uh, it looks it looks kind of old it looks pretty, pretty old worst case scenario I could scrap it uh, but this this part is a tough sell but it could still has the potential to sell we don't know um, oh here's a nice chair this chair this dental chair right here, this will be way easier to sell than this. Um, 
on eBay pickup only, you'd be surprised. I guarantee, I guarantee we could get at least three, four, five hundred bucks out of the chair. Dental studio. Let's see what's in here. Okay. I mean, these tools, those will bring some money. And they will sell them pretty quick, guys. Don't underestimate this, this stuff. Uh, you throw all this stuff online in a lot, and you're going to get some pretty quick sales. X-ray holder. There's x-ray holders. Those will sell in the box. Um, I don't know. This box looks like somebody went through it because there's nothing in it. So, who knows? She might have gotten out of jail, come back, got all the good stuff, you know, because there's empty boxes right here. Might have came back and got the good stuff and left. Paper towel holders. The remote. I'm assuming that the tools that I'm looking for, here's some pretty cool chairs. These are dental chair. These are, you know, chair that they can roll around in easy. There's quite a few of them, different colors. Uh, I, I don't have any experience with that. I know what Breville is. Why would this be back here? Juice fountain cold. Breville's a really good brand. Uh, let's see, empty bottles here. What is this? Body lotion? And after I go through everything that we can open up, that's open right now that we can dig through, I will go through on all of these and open them up. We'll see what kind of tools we got inside of there. Hopefully we got some decent tools. Okay. And whatnot. Looks like we got I'm not sure what that is. Who knows? Uh there's a bag of syringe type things. So it's looking to me like this is like whitening kits. Okay, this is what I'm looking for right here. I gotta be careful, guys, because we don't. I don't want to stick myself if she's got a bag that's open. But this is what I'm looking for. These right here. Okay, let's see. Here's another one. Perfect. Um, they look a little old, but they still sell. So let's keep looking. I don't want to get poked at all right now. Got some more picks, tools. That's good. Yes. Oh, there's more right there, too. This right here. And this one right here. This is what I was talking about. This is what I'm looking for. These pieces are not cheap at all, guys. Just keep going. And I would love to find some dentures in here. I know that sounds really weird, guys, but they sell for they sell so fast and so good. Um, I would love to find some. Here's more. Yes. I know it's weird getting excited about stuff like this, guys, but no joke. These are very expensive extremely expensive some of these run upwards like a kit runs upwards of two thousand three thousand dollars it's crazy insane we just want to hope that they're not too old even still someone will buy them but we'd like to find like a new fancy one uh, that brings like a grand or something like that all right let's keep moving on We've got fireplace pokers here, so maybe they had a fireplace poker or a fireplace in their uh, in their office. Okay, these are little sanding kits. All right, that's what I'm looking for right here, guys. 
drills. This is what we're looking for. That's slow. Maybe these are the high speeds. Looking for those. I mean, right there, I'm telling you right there, guys, at least, bare minimum, $1,000. Bare minimum. I'm being very generous on that right now. There's a couple more right there. So, my advice, and this is a tip that you will never hear from anybody else. Uh, buy the dental units whenever you can. If you're somebody who makes a lot of money on eBay. If you do a lot of eBay sales, you want to find these specialty... Uh, units that are for somebody's work whether it's a doctor's office or um, a dentist's office or some kind of place that would have uh, expensive expensive tools in them It'd be nice to find some gold teeth in here because it looks like she's doing mostly cosmetic Little Sanders. Keep moving. But like I said, some of these boxes are empty, so it looks like someone's been back here to get some stuff. But we're gonna find it. We're gonna find some gold in here. That's what we're gonna do. Little trays. Looks like another tray down there. All of these dental supplies will sell. Every bit of them. I'm not sure what those are. We'll go through those later. Light blocks. Or light blocks. Looks like you got some kind of. I mean, this right here. No idea how much how much it brings, but I know it will sell. They buy stuff like this all the time, guys. Very curious as what's in there. We'll set that to the side. Boxing wax. Self-edge bond. This just look like chemicals and stuff. This looks like a decor box where there's gonna be... Yeah, I mean, this is empty. These All these boxes are empty. So I'm starting to think that they came back and got a few items that there was probably way more stuff in here than what's showing but that's okay I still see a lot of potential profit right now just off the drills alone I would have paid 350 for those by themselves all right And things and yes you can't sell this stuff on eBay guys most of the stuff that most of this stuff you don't need any kind of license to sell this stuff at all and who knows how much these products bring a lot of them look new in the box that's new in the box whatever this is box of those here's your pedal for your water uh, let's see very interesting looking seats Somebody's been through this stuff. Let's turn this around. Because this one's in the back. Let's see if there's anything good in it. I was hoping she stashed a bunch of money somewhere. 
You know what I mean? Jelly bean. I was hoping she stashed a bunch of money. Look, I feel like a dentist sitting down in this chair. I'm seriously, we're going to open this one up and the rest of it, I'm going to do a highlights video so you guys can see. And you know what? You know what I'll do? I will do what's sold from this. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this home. I'm going to list it as fast as I can. And I will show you guys everything that I sell from this unit on eBay. That one's empty. Yeah. See, those are empty. So that that might have been what was in these drawers. So anyway, anyway guys, it's pretty boring. A pretty boring unit. But like I said, let's go ahead and look at this filing cabinet see if there's anything in it. <coughs> Some empty files. Yeah, I'm starting to think that somebody else came in. Like the, the cops probably came in and took all this stuff. But anyway, guys, so that's it for now. Uh, like I said, I'll do a highlights video, but I will definitely show you guys what I get for that stuff.